Hello everybody. Welcome to the first of a series of six of um, my childish project. Um, this has been talked about for months on piece to camera and through vlogs and so forth. And I have tried it once before, but it didn't quite work because the subject matter I picked didn't quite give me the reactions I need. This is a reaction series. So I'm going to be reacting to six episodes or six programs from my childhood. Uh, six TV programs that I watched as a kid. Um, a lot of exciting episodes coming up. Hopefully you agree with that. But the first one I'm going to do is of a series that started the year after I was born, 1984. And is still going strong even today. Although it's um, not with any models anymore like it was originally. Um, and it fascinated me as a child. And I actually managed to find the episode which I remember most vividly as well. So I'm going to watch that, I'm going to react to that. You will see uh, clips of what I'm reacting to probably down in this corner here. Uh, if not, it'll be that corner there, whatever corner it is. You'll see it being reacted to. Um, and I hope you enjoy what you see. So let's get it going, shall we? Right, so I've got to, put, I've got to set up my laptop here. So I'm going to be looking this direction for the laptop. So please don't ignore me. Please don't think bad of me when, when you see me watch this. Um, so here we go. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Well, I think this is the remastered titles because I'm sure it wasn't as clean as that originally. The sad story of Henry. Now it's only lasting about five minutes this, so this will be quite short compared to some of them I'm doing in this series. But it's one of the original series because it's Ringo Starr narrating it. <laughs> Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. Was he? went into a tunnel and squeaked through its funnel and wouldn't come out again. All right, okay. Selfish train. Then along came Sir Topham Hatt, the man in charge of all the engines. The Fat on Controller. Sunday. They call him the Fat Controller. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone pulled except the Fat Controller because <coughs> he said my doctor has forbidden me to pull. <laughs> but still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Then they tried pushing from the other end. <laughs> the fat controller said, One, two, three, push! There's not enough of them to push it, though. That's the thing. Couldn't be a lot of um, passengers on that help. carriage. <coughs> My doctor has forbidden me to push, he said. They pushed and pushed and pushed. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Thomas pushed and puffed and pushed as hard as It's not really as Thomas you want to push for that. It'll be Gordon, because he's a heavier train. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Yes, he's been stubborn, isn't he? Come on, Henry, you're going to burn out Thomas here. Oh, here we Took go. Took up the old rails and built a wall in front of him so that Henry oh, couldn't the music. get out of the tunnel anymore. <laughs> what? No, hang on a minute, you can't just stop there. You can't stop there. Hang on a minute, I never I've never noticed a cliffhanger before in Thomas the Tank Engine. Oof. I'll have to get the next one and find out what happens to him now. Oh no, what's gonna happen to Henry? He's gonna be stuck in that tunnel forever. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Right, let's get the next episode up then. Fortunately, I have it saved. <laughs> I just sort of save a couple just in case this one didn't work and it happened to be the next one off. So let's see how this one turns out. Does Henry get out the tunnel? Let's see. Thank you. 
Oh, he must do. Edward Gordon Henry. Okay. Gordon always pulled the big express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do so. See, that's what I'm saying. He should have pushed Henry out the tunnel. The fat controller, and Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, 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 he said. Tickety talk, tickety Love the music. Said the coaches. Very 80s. In a minute, Gordon. Dear thought Henry, why did I worry about rain spoiling my lovely coat of paint? Will the <laughs> fat controller ever forgive me and let me out again? No, he won't. I'm going to poop poop at Henry, said Gordon. <laughs> Quite right, Gordon. He was almost there. Be really sadistic when... at this. And there was Gordon going slower and slower. Oh no! A cloud of steam. His driver stopped the train. Something's broken on Gordon. What has happened to me? Asked Gordon. I feel so weak. Edward was the only engine left. I'll oh dear. Come and try, he said. <laughs> said Gordon. That's no use. Edward can't push the train. No, it's probably a bit too heavy for you, Edward, unfortunately. Edward puffed and pushed and oh pushed dear. and puffed, but he couldn't move the heavy coaches. Will you help pull this train, Henry? He asked. <laughs> oh, yes, said Henry. <laughs> Maybe not with the rolling eyes. I love the fact the trains could go backwards. Better. I don't think they could. Then they go and look unhappy in the corner. It love together, it. Said Edward and Henry. You've done it, hooray! You've done it, hooray! Sang the coaches. You've done it, hooray! Yay! Excited. Henry's out of there. Controller leaned out of the window to wave at Edward and Henry, but the train was going so fast that his hat blew off into a field where a goat ate it for tea. <laughs> Which becomes a running joke in the series, if I remember correctly. All three engines are now great friends. I wonder why. Henry doesn't mind the rain now. He knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is not to run into tunnels, but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over. That's what you should have done in the first place. Oh, I'm glad that was a happy ending there for, um, <laughs> for Henry. <laughs> There we are, two episodes of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. I was only expecting to do one, but I had to find out what happened to Henry. I mean, you can't leave Henry in the tunnel forever and ever. But there we are. <laughs> oh dear. That was actually quite fun. If that's what it's going to be like for the rest of them, I'm really going to enjoy this series, reacting to these videos. I know what I'm doing next. I'll let you into a secret of what it is. Nah, I'm not going to. You'll have to find out next time. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching, as always. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Pass it on to your friends, share it out, let people know what's happening here. Um, tell me what your memories are of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, and give me suggestions of what kids' TV shows of the 80s and 90s that I could watch in the future. Anyway, that's it for now. If you have been watching, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.